Good morning and welcome to Birmingham. Uh, I'm David Seymour. I'm the Alliance Executive Director at Health Data Research UK. Uh, it's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to this showcase event for the Digital Innovation Hub programme, Building a Legacy for UK Health Data Research Infrastructure. It is great to see so many people joining us both here in person in the east side rooms, uh, but also online via the live feed. Um, we do obviously hope that we don't have any technical glitches today, uh, and so we can focus on engaging on the content of what we hope is a rich and varied programme for you all um, that we have today. And at least we don't have any issues with 100 Zoom licences. Um, in terms of housekeeping, for those in the building, uh, we're not expecting a fire alarm, so if one does go off, please panic in an orderly fashion. Uh, and I believe the mustering point is to the rear of the hotel building, but obviously you can see there's plenty of emergency exits around, um, so hopefully you can manage that one should that emergency arise. And there are a number of breaks during the day, uh, so if you can avoid moving around uh, during the sessions, particularly during the main presentations, please do so. But of course, if you do need uh, to leave the room for whatever reason, we do all understand, so please don't sort of suffer in silence. Uh, make sure that uh, you sort of leave the room as you, as you need. Um, so by way, by way of introduction, before we get into sort of the main speech, I just want to sort of provide a little bit of background. Um, so firstly, our mission at Health Data Research UK is to unite health relevant data to enable discoveries that improve people's lives. And this, along with our vision, remains unchanged as we look ahead to the next five years. We're very grateful for the support and confidence of both our core funders and our programme funders, which includes obviously UKRI and Innovate UK, as we work with partners to fight to walk towards a future vision in which large scale analytics and data can support all aspects of care delivery, public health, clinical trials and biomedical discovery. As we look ahead to the next five years, as I say, our ambition will take forward through three integrated areas of activity. Uniting health data through infrastructure and services, scientific driver programs that focus on data integration for a purpose, delivering both impact and data foundations that can then be shared and used more widely across the research and innovation community. And also then promoting partnerships, which I think is a real sort of theme for the day ahead across the four nations of the UK and increasingly internationally. Today, we focus on the components of the infrastructure that have been developed through the investment provided by UKRI's Innovate UK Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund as part of the Data to Early Diagnosis and Precision Medicine Challenge. Shortly, we'll hear from Janet Valentine, the Challenge Director, and then after that, our keynote, Rory Kethlin jones once we've had a chance to ask Rory some questions, the hubs will then share the progress with you in a session chaired by John Jeans. In the afternoon, we'll have further opportunities to consider the legacy of this programme within the context of the wider ecosystem. Uh, so we've got Sir Mark Walport, who during his time as the first Chief Executive of UKRI, helped shape the early stages of the DIH programme, literally up to the morning of the launch of the prospectus. And also Claire Bloomfield, who is Senior Responsible Officer for the data for R&D programme as overseeing a £200 million investment in data access and linkage and data-enabled trials for the NHS in England. Our attention then switches to the Health Data Research Alliance and the Innovation Gateway before Andrew Morris rounds off the form part of the day with some closing comments. One of the key themes of the programme is collaboration. The hubs themselves represent the sort of triple helix, to use Andrew's terms, of the NHS, academia, industry, but actually coming together to provide trustworthy access to data and services that have public benefit running at the heart of it and the public involvement running throughout all of their activities. I think that is a real great legacy, actually, of the programme already, which is how the hubs in particular have transformed the way in which patients and the public are involved and engaged in the use of NHS and other sources of data. It's also great to see so many life science and technology businesses joining us today, both here in person at the event and online, and the import of industry in stimulating that innovation and delivering products and services cannot also, also cannot be overstated. Collaboration at the local and regional level is vital, and I think Birmingham Health Partners is a real example to look to this, and it's great to have a number of Birmingham Health Partners in the room today and also for their role within this region, supporting the Pioneer Hub, providing insight, and also our Better Care um, programme. 
As we look to scale up, though, for health data science on populations of 66 million people, UK-wide collaboration, I think, has been exemplified during the response to the pandemic. Through the work of Alliance partners as part of the national core studies, for example, the longitudinal linkage collaboration, but also, not shown on this slide, the work of the national trusted research environments across the four nations of the UK as part of data and connectivity. We know that we also have to collaborate internationally increasingly, and we've shamelessly borrowed and learned from the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health. And also, it's been rewarding to see aspects of the Digital Innovation Hub programme supporting the International COVID-19 Data Alliance work, or ICODA. And indeed, the pandemic has been almost ever-present throughout the programme to date. As we look back on the almost 1150 days since Sir Mark launched the programme, prospectus at the Drive Unit in Great Ormond Street Hospital, there were actually 147 of those days uh, before, between prospectus launch and the actual launch of the successful hubs on the 1st of October 2019, shown here in the photo uh, with the enthusiastic face of Caroline Cake, our former chief executive. There have then been actually now 1,001 days since then, only 162 of which were pre-pandemic, with WHO declaring the global pandemic, of course, on the 11th of March 2020. And we all had to rapidly change our, our ways of working, and in many cases for the hubs also changed their plans for at least the short term. And that brings us to today's event, a chance to get back together again, uh, a chance to reflect, to take stock, to understand impact, share lessons, and help to shape the future. And for what? Well, quite simply for patients and the public, for family and for friends, and for the many millions of people that we'll never meet, but who can benefit from the trustworthy use of data. To borrow the words of Sir Peng Kov, I sat next to you last night, equity through innovation. So, without further ado, let's get going with the programme and welcome Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund Challenge Director, Janet Valentine. 